Hey everyone! Today, I'm going to be showing you the first short film that I ever shot. Intro. So, the very first short film that I ever shot was shot 10 years ago. It's the 10th anniversary of this film and it's called Revenge. And it's about an assassin who gets revenge. Um, that's why I called it Revenge. Um, if I had named it Puppies and Kitties, I don't think that it would have made any sense at all. And it was shot on mini DV with a really crappy mini DV camera. And it was shot for my first film class at Orange Coast College. Essentially what I wanted to do for the 10 year anniversary was I wanted to sort of I guess kind of remaster it, but for the most part, all that really needed work was the audio. Um, I never really liked the way the original audio turned out because um, I had recorded it analog on um, a on a tape deck, and I just didn't like the way it sounded. So I decided to redo the voiceover because um, I was just never really happy with the way it sounded. I had a lot of audio problems on that shoot. So without further ado. Here is the 10th anniversary remaster of my very first short film ever made, Revenge. It's been 10 years now since he killed my brother. Gunned down because they thought he was me. All these years I've been waiting for my people to find him. After he figured out he bumped off the wrong guy, he went into hiding. Deep into hiding. Cowardly son of a bitch. But finally, after all these years of waiting, I hear those words I've been waiting for. We found him. We'll be waiting for you outside. So many years of waiting. And it all comes down to this. And now the big question of the night. What do I kill the bastard with? I've got enough weapons in this room alone to equip a small army. I could use any of these weapons, but I think this occasion calls for something a bit more personal. My brother's sword. It's been a while since I've killed anyone. Business has been slow. It's been a while since I've used a sword, too. But I don't think I'm rusty. It may seem a bit cliche, but I equate it to riding a bike. Because trust me, after you've chopped off several dozen human heads, not to mention other body parts, it's not the kind of thing you can forget.
His house is right on the other side of this catwalk. I figured it'd make her getaway easier. I've been waiting ten years for this. When we get to his house, I make the kill. Got it? Settle for revenge.